Hey, what is going on guys? So you have a Samsung Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, and I'm going to show you how you can add multiple languages to your keyboard. Also going to show you how to remove a language as well. Okay, now you can see right here, I have English down here. The thing is when you add multiple languages, you'll start to get these little arrows here, the left arrow and the right arrow. So basically I can switch from English to Deutsch. Okay, so let me show you how to add more languages on here. And the thing is, once you add multiple languages to your keyboard, it's going to work no matter where your keyboard is. If you're using a keyboard on a messaging app, on your line app, WhatsApp, if you're using it for emails, if you're using it for your browser, it doesn't matter. The multiple languages are going to be in the same keyboard across the board. So let's go ahead and add another language. So first thing I want you to do is go into your settings. So you can go ahead and just swipe down top right hand corner, tap on the settings icon right there. And then from here, I want you to scroll down and look for general management. Tap on general management, and then you want to go to language and input. Language and input. Now we want to look under keyboards. Now we can see here on-screen keyboard and physical keyboard. We want to go to on-screen keyboard. The thing is they used to call this virtual keyboard. So if yours still says virtual keyboard, uh, click that. It's the same thing as on-screen keyboard. So we'll tap on on-screen keyboard here, and then we're going to tap on Samsung keyboard. Then we're going to tap on languages and types. And right now you can see I have English and Deutsch here. So if I want to add additional keyboard languages, I would tap on manage input languages. Tap on that. And now there's already some that are preloaded, but you also get other available languages here that you can download. The thing is, if there's not a language in here that you need, what you may want to do is go in the top right hand corner, the three dots, tap on that and check for update. I just did that and I just got like seven or eight more languages down here but you can see tons of other languages down here. So if I basically wanted to use, let's just say for example purposes, we'll go ahead and add, how about the Netherlands? So I'm gonna go ahead and tap on that, wait for that to download. Once it download, it's gonna go ahead and appear up here under downloaded languages. So give this a second here. Okay, so it appeared right here, Netherlands, and they already uh, toggled it on. So I'll keep that toggled on and I also have Korean down here as well. I'll go ahead and toggle that on. So now I have four languages that are going to be on my keyboard. English, Deutsch, Netherlands, and Korean here. So let me go to any keyboard here. I just go to my browser here. And I'll tap on that. And now we can see down here, okay? So we see Deutsch down here. If I slide this to hold it and slide, there's English. I slide it again. There's Korean. I slide it again. There's Netherlands, okay? And if I slide it again, we're back to Deutsch, and we're back to English here. And let me just show you the Korean keyboard, as you can see, the Korean keyboard here. So pretty easy to switch between multiple languages on the keyboard. Now let me show you quickly how to delete a keyboard language. Simply just go back into your settings again. And it was under General Management, Language and Input, and then On-Screen Keyboard or Virtual Keyboard. Samsung keyboard, languages and types. And then you can see the ones that I have installed on my keyboard right now. If I wanted to delete one of them, the top right hand corner, the three dots, tap on that. We'll go to remove. And then we'll go ahead and remove Netherlands and Korean. I'll tap on remove. And now it's gone. So if I go back into any area where I'm using a keyboard, those two languages are going to be gone. I'll go back into my Google Chrome here. And we can see you have English here and Deutsch and back to English. So Netherlands and Korean is long gone. So there you guys go. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope that helped you out. And I'll see you on the next one.